Gobby agitators, sly snakes, pantomime villains, this is how we choose to describe the players who employ the dark arts in football, but they are just polite ways of talking about the shithouses that pervade the game at all levels. While they might be more common lower down the food chain you go, you'll find they occupy a spot in some of the best teams in the world. The biters, the scratchers, the wind-up merchant, they have their place and they know what their job is. They are the anti-heroes of the sport and it wouldn't be half as interesting without them. Here's our ultimate shithouse, 11. Harold Schumacher. It's actually kind of hard to pick out goalkeepers that fit the shithouse mould, so we had to go all the way back to the 80s to find one. Harold Tony Schumacher was a wildly successful footballer over the course of a 24 year career, which included Bundesliga wins of FC Köln, Borussia Dortmund, two World Cup finals, a European Championship winner's medal and a two time German player of the year. But his entire career was wildly remembered for one single moment, cleaning out Patrick Batterson in a classic 3 all draw between West Germany and France in the 1982 World Cup semi-final. Sergio Ramos For all his silverware and undoubted talent, Sergio Ramos is a dirty rotten player. While most players are on the list are sneaky enough to disguise their shithousery, Ramos is not. After receiving his 25th career red card in February 2019, he officially became the most ill-disciplined player in the history of Europe's top 5 leagues. Ryan Shawcross a centre-back who has hurt a number of players in his career, and most notably in 2010 when he broke the leg of Aaron Ramsey in a Premier League game between Stoke City and Arsenal. Playing for a Tony Peeler's side didn't help his reputation too much either. Kevin Muscat Once alluded to as the most hated man in football, English-born Australian international Kevin Muscat is perhaps the dirtiest player the game has ever known. Peter Crouch admitted last year on his podcast that Muscat, who received 12 red cards in his career, was the only player he ever feared. Vinnie Jones One of the players who took no shit, Vinnie Jones was not afraid to put in a crunching challenge when the moment called for it, and that moment could come at any time, including the third second of a game while playing for Chelsea in 1992. He infamously grabbed Paul Gascoigne by the genitals in one match and was sent off 12 times in his playing days. The former Welsh international used his hard man reputation to launch a Hollywood career once he retired from football. Mark Van Bommel The Dutch defensive midfielder was the kind of aggressive, no-nonsense tackler that attacking players hated to come up against, using whatever body part it took to stop the opposition. In 2007, he was even caught pinching a Stuttgart player between the legs while playing for Bayern Munich. Fittingly, he was red-carded in his final game for PSV Eindhoven in 2013. Scott Brown Scott Brown might just be the most joyfully shit-ass player of all time. The former Celtic midfielder is not the most technically proficient of footballers and for years it seemed that as if he was a hindrance to his side's cause rather than an asset. But he eventually found his role within the team, winding up the opposition with ease until one of them loses their call. Lee Catamore For a long time, Lee Catamore had more red cards than goals with the former Sunderland midfielder's reputation for ill-discipline preceding him throughout his playing days. Catamore was a yellow card magnet picking up 77 during his career. It's actually debatable whether he was actually a proper shithouse or just a really stupid player who couldn't help making rash tackles. Joey Barton Few Premier League players have been as disliked in the past 20 years as one Joseph Barton has been. There are so many examples we could dredge up but there are only two that we need to. His stubbing of a cigarette in a teammate's eye and getting a 12 match ban for outright assaulting Manchester City players on a dramatic finale in the 2012 season. Barton's career was effectively ended by an 18-month ban, later reduced to 13, for betting in 2017. El Hajjouf The Senegalese striker isn't a shithouse in the traditional sense, in that he didn't often play dirty to gain an advantage. But he was a scumbag, a villainous figure who repeatedly lived up to his own reputation time and time again. The former Liverpool player was accused of spitting at fans at Celtic, West Ham and Middlesbrough, and spat on the face of Portsmouth centre-back Arjan de Zou and spat towards Blackpool goalkeeper Matt Jilks while turning out for Doncaster Romers. Charming. Truth was also investigated for using racial slurs against the ball boy and directing an offensive gesture at Brighton fans after scoring a penalty for Leeds United. Diego Costa Diego Costa is a man who makes shithouse you look like an art form, despised by opposition fans, although pretty much everyone else is entertained by his antics, which can be deadly effective. When Chelsea met Arsenal in 2015, Costa spent the game winding up Laurent Koscielny before doing the same to Gabriel Paulista, who lashed out and received a red card soon after. The Blues won 2-0 on the day. Job done.